The story of Wusong fighting the tiger. The story of Wusong fighting the tiger is a famous Chinese story taken from one of the four great novels. The story of Liang Shanbo. This novel was written by the author, Nian Shi, in Ming Dynasty in 14th century. The story tells about a man called Wusong fighting a tiger with his bare hands on his way back to home county for the safety of local people. The illustrated story was published in March 1957, painted by Chinese famous painter Jiu Liao. This story happened in Song Dynasty in the 12th century. Wu Song, born in Qinghe County, had lived in Chai Jin Chuan for more than one year. One winter day, he went back alone to his home county to visit his old brother since he missed him very much. On his way, he walked in the days and slept at inns at nights. Then he came to Yanggu County one day. He felt thirsty and hungry. Seeing a small pub in front, he went in. He sat down at a table and asked the pub keeper to bring him some wine. Soon he was served with wine and two or three pounds of cooked meat. Wu Song drank three bowls of wine in one go and asked for more. The pub keeper refused and said, "Didn't you see the words three bowls? You can't cross the hill written on the signboard. With three bowls of wine, you'll get drunk before you cross the hill. That's why." Wu Song did not believe it and insisted on being served more wine. The pub keeper then said there appeared a tiger recently on Jingyang Hill. It often came out and hurt people, and people were supposed not to cross the hill alone after drinking too much wine. Wu Song said, "I've walked in this area several times and never found any tigers. Don't scare me, please." Since Wu Song did not listen to him, the pub keeper gave up. Wu Song drank eighteen bowls successively before he left the pub. The pub keeper advised him to stay for a night and leave the next day. Wu Song refused and staggered away. After walking four or five miles, he came in front of a temple. Seeing a notice on the gate, Wu Song got to know there was really a tiger around the area. He said to himself, after thinking for a while, "Who cares?" Let me go and see. Wu Song walked step by step up to the hill when he became drunk, feeling hot and dry. He staggered through the woods and saw a big stone in front of him. Then he climbed up the stone and wanted to sleep for a while. As soon as he closed his eyes, he heard a poof, and a fierce tiger ran out from back of the trees. Aha!、Uh -huh. Wu Song sat up immediately from the big stone and had to get ready to fight. The tiger pressed its front paws onto the ground and then rushed straight from Madeira to Wu Song. At this scene, Wu Song sobered up more than half from the alcohol. He jumped right away to the back of the tiger. The tiger failed to hit Wu Song. Then, turning its waist and hip, the tiger leapt at him again. Wu Song dodged the attack gently another time. Having failed the second time, the tiger got angry and it started to roar like thunder, raised its tail, and rushed towards Wu Song once again. And Wu Song succeeded again, getting a way out. The tiger's strength reduced by more than a half after these rounds. Three times the tiger failed its attack at Wu Song. While it was turning around, Wu Song hurriedly lifted his cudgel and swung it from the air with all his strength to hit the tiger. But his cudgel got caught in the branches of a tree and broke in two. The tiger was annoyed and launched another attack. And Wu Song quickly took a few steps back. The fierce animal fell to the front of Wu Song. That moment. Wu Song took hold right away of the tiger's top skin and used his other fist to hit the tiger's head. When he hit it fifty or sixty times, the tiger could not move, bleeding and panting. Wu Song picked up his cudgel and hit the tiger heavily again and again. 
He stopped until the tiger had no breath. The hunters around this area got the news that Wu Sung hit the tiger to death. They were all surprised and excited praising Wu Song for what he did. Then they carried Wu Song and the dead tiger to the county to claim credit for Wu Song.